Okay, let's do the Sunday Mirror. And a Love Island contestant is considering running as a Labour MP, although apparently there are concerns she might be overqualified, Chris. <laughs> Very nice. Let's see what I did. Very nice. Georgia Harrison has, seri has, has serious conversation about running as Labour Party MP. So I didn't know anything about this lady. I can't say I've ever seen Love Island, but I am familiar with I know I know the concept. I know what it is. Um, it's it's like the headliners team all going on a lovely holiday and seeing what. No, it's not. Like that. <laughs> I hope it's, um, it's not like that. I think it's I think it's even worse. Um, anyway, she she ended up in a relationship with uh, this chap whose name is something Bear, like Stephen, Stephen Bear, and he's a bit of a wrong one because he has committed revenge porn against her. And at first, I, you know, there's always that feeling where you think, oh God, don't send people videos. That's not what happened at all. There was CCTV in his house. What a wrong one. Isn't that just horrific? So he's now serving uh, some jail time. the R. Kelly's about that. Yeah, it's just, there's no, I have no, uh, I'm, not, I'm not interested in his side of that argument. That's right. not on. Um, so he's, he's now serving time in prison. And because she got very involved in changing the laws around this as a result of what happened to her, she's now kind of got an appetite for politics. And I thought, well, good for her. <laughs> Nick's not convinced. <laughs> but it turns out that some of her work has contributed to the online safety bill, and that's where she lost me a bit. Exactly, yeah. She's, bringing to, she's helping the online safety bill, which is going to be this draconian, overzealous bill, IMHO. But Steve, I mean, maybe this is an option now. We've got Matt Hancock with the politics to reality show path. Why not the other way, right? I'd rather have it the other way, actually. Yeah, if Matt Hancock would not be... If somehow the result of this is we don't see any more Matt Hancock, yeah, sign me up for a slice of that. I don't know, having celebs uh, move into politics could help get people interested in politics, especially for people of a certain age who don't seem to care at all. Um, but you look at the work that she's done. Look, I know you've got issues with some parts of the online safety bill, but some parts of it you might like. Some, like, for example, having laws that mean people can get six months in prison for sharing a picture of you nude. Do you not think they should be in trouble well, for that? If they were do it, d doing it to you're deliberately... Right, they don't deserve to see that, you're right. If they were, if they were doing it to embarrass you, they could get up to two years. Those things are right. I think we did need that law change, because the laws were made before everyone had smartphones. In the old days, you want to do revenge porn, you've got to nip down snappy snaps and buy a lot of stamps. So <laughs> it is good that things have been updated. You see, you see, you're sort of like an online safety bill salesman there, Steve. You're like this well-dressed man, smoothly recommending the online safety bill to me. I don't totally trust you, but she'll probably be better than um, Sultana and Butler. That's all I'm going to say. It's very Arnold Schwarzenegger, isn't it? Sort of celebs in politics. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. Places. And that wasn't really a good example. They didn't work out well, did it, really? Arnie? Yeah, I preferred him as Conan than when he was a Democrat. Or wasn't that, he wasn't a Democrat, but he was just a kind of environment kind of obsessed. He went woke. That's what I'm claiming. Arnie went woke. <laughs> Classic.